Welcome to another episode of Project Amberlight. This week I'm on set with Dipor, so I thought while I'm here, I might as well do the vlog. Do the vlogatron. So um, these are the things that I have to do for Amber this week. I've got to record a new ADR line because I make my little director's cameo, uh, but it's just voice only. Uh, we have been talking about a new ending, so I've got to write the script for that. Also um, we are doing some ADR work, we're going to get the actors back in. Um, I have to do notes on the most recent cut of the sh uh, of the film for Adam, um, but we're so we're so close now. Um, I have to do credits, so all the you know closing credits that appear, you have to write them, spell check them, make sure you've got everybody in. So I've got to do that, and also I've got to record a voicemail for a contributor who um, supported us on our Indiegogo campaign. So one of the things he asked for was a. Um, of me doing his outgoing voicemail message and I can't think what to do. I've been waiting until like an idea comes because the others that I did, they kind of knew what they wanted so it's kind of easier. So one I did a song for and one I plugged a, 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 his uh, blog. But this guy, he's like, yeah, do what you want. I'm like, ah, no, <laughs> I have to be creative now. Anyways, so yeah, that's what's going on with Amber. So later in the week, my friend and I, Tom, we went to see Five Nights in May, starring David Oyelowo and Diane Beast? Beist? I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Anyways, this is our little review. So, uh, Tommy, what's the film called? Hi, everybody. I'm Tommy, or as Andy would say, hubby. Um, we are at the Arclight Theatre. About to <laughs> Talk about build your part up. We are at the Arclight Theatre. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Excuse I'm me. Shocked. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, you're okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited to see this. I know nothing about this film. All I know is it's got David Oyelowo in it and Diane Weiss. That's the name I can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> I can pronounce his name perfectly. As I'm like, w oh, Weist? Oh, um, uh, Diane Weist. Is it Weist? Weist. Is yeah, it definitely? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a women in film um, screening and there's going to be a Q&A afterwards with the director and the cast. Can't ask more than that, can you? because it it becomes a thing it becomes a to say it's a friend is 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 not quite the right term but it's it's this thing that's very very present that's also uh, part of the what plays out between myself and diane in terms of our character so so go on say what the film is about um he lost his wife and for maybe for uh wanting to know more about her and her mother and their relationship he decides to go visit her mother after her mother gives him a call and says you're welcome to come to maine and so he goes to maine and <laughs> diane weist is uh, no you're sure it's weist not weist it's diane not some weist? sort of german type of diane weist, or Austrian or diane, weist. diane weist i'm gonna look it up there was a point where i felt like i mean the performances were amazing i thought yes um and you know in the q a that we just watched they or watched you watch q a yeah yeah in the q a they were talking about how because the camera was very intimate on them the whole time so you have to trust that what you're doing the camera is getting and you don't want to push it Mm -hmm. I think David said that. So especially you, when the close-up, they had extreme close-ups through a lot of the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was a point where I did feel like, wow, she is mean to him. Oh. I think I did think at one point, why is he staying? You know, in you know, obviously, what was wonderful is the relationships were so complicated. Yeah, and they both gave that even his relationship with his wife which I loved even though it started with them all happy and stuff yeah you could tell that it wasn't a perfect relationship well at one point it sort of I had this feeling like this is actually a mystery yeah this is because 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 you don't know exactly what's happened because there was more to it than just the wife dying there was this whole sort of 
um, stuff that had happened with the mother that never really got spoken about. Yeah, so they argued kind of, a lot. Yeah, but he, that, so but he was know. like finding out little bits of information, like drip, being drip fed this information about a woman that he thought he knew so intimately, and then it turns out there was a whole lo load of other stuff he didn't know about. I think it's good that there was humour in it. I think you've got to, you've got to find that balance because when something's like a really um, what's the word? Like when it's something that you uh, the audience might consider a heavy subject, you've got to offset that because otherwise what happens is it actually takes away from the depth and the gravity of the main subject. Like the, yeah. I, when I saw the butler, I laughed so much, but I cried probably the same amount. Because this happens right at the beginning of the film. We only had a couple minutes of them and of her, and then he gets the phone call. Mm. I think, personally for me, the boo-hoo stuff, mm. is that what I call it? The mm -hmm. grief that he was mm -hmm. going through alone? I think that was stretched too long. Really? I way too long. There were too many, <laughs> there were too many. Just get over it. Not get over it, but <laughs> what we do is, we do go through that, but we also, even while we're going through it, we're trying to find ways out. Yeah, but the even thing if we're drinking, depends. then show me him flat out drunk. But it depends. Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose it depends what slice of his life, because these are our days immediately after her death. Yes. So it's not like they're showing a year where he pulls his shit together or whatever. But we go through so many that. different things when we're going through loss, and yeah. I think it felt one noted up until the nephew came, and he said, uh, and the, I loved the moment when he said. Um, you know, so what are you doing? He goes, Mom said you wanted to play. I love that. That was funny. That um, was brilliant. Okay, so in conclusion, what are you going to give it out of, out of five? Out of five, I'll give it three and a quarter. Okay. Yeah. The acting was, mar I mean, that was spot on. It was definitely character driven and the actors were, were wonderful. Mm. I had no problem with them. Mm. It did affect me more than I thought it would. It would. So there's, there's some sort of spirit to this film that maybe if I watched it again, or if I had time to sort of reflect on it, I'll, I'll really sort of be able to articulate what it is. But I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Oh, so I gave it a little bit more than you. I'm surprised. No, you said three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. You said three and a half. You so said I three gave, and a quarter. Oh, no, I mean three and three quarters. Oh, oh backpedal. Backpedal. No, I'm not bad. I, sorry, that was my bad. Yeah, I'm going to give it three and three quarters. Then I give it four. <laughs> Then I'm going to give it 7 out of then 10. Then I'm going to give it 8 out of 5. I'm going to give it 16 I'm gonna out of give 20. It a, uh, that's, that's, that's the same as 4 out of 5. <laughs> Alright, that's Bye. it. We're gone. Bye. You should see it. You should totally should see it. Always the last word. <laughs> it's my blog. <laughs> but I'm just a guest. <laughs> I, can, I can just cut him out. He doesn't know. <laughs> that will never happen. Thank you.